So in medicine, if something is proven beyond any doubt to affect clinical outcomes, it's irresponsible for doctors not to use it. And my first thought was, that sounds like an epic adoption strategy. Healthcare is fundamentally reactive. Medicine is designed to take folks when something goes wrong with them and try to fix it. And my vision for healthcare is something that's not just predictive, but truly preventative, which led me to eFarmix. The concept there was simple. It's create communication tools for the toughest, sickest, poorest, most medically underserved individuals in the country, help them manage their diseases, and by doing so, help them live better, longer, healthier lives. Our strategy at eFarmix is to capture not just all of the data, but the rare data, the stuff that nobody else in the world knows, and then feed it into predictive models so that we can drive predictions where nobody else can. When it comes to getting the rare data that eFarmix focuses on, a lot of it is patient-generated. In fact, just the right question, perhaps even a qualitative question like, what's your breathing today, can be more informative than anything. And with just 30 days of data, eFarmix can now predict with 90% accuracy whether a patient with depression is going to attempt to commit suicide in the next 60 days. It's hard to appreciate exactly how difficult that is and also how powerful that is for patients and the health system. About two weeks into our first uh, pilot with our very first customer, we got a call from one of the care managers and she said with complete straight voice, absolutely no intonation whatsoever, hey, just wanna let you guys know, thanks so much, caught a patient who was hypoglycemic, probably saved him, nice work, and hung up. And the team was just completely struck. We froze for a second and then began to realize that not only was this working, but this was pretty dramatically impacting the flow of, of healthcare. I have a vision of a day when a patient goes on eFarmix and of course feels like messages are coming from his or her provider, right? And two months down the line gets a call from a clinician. Says, hey, Mr. Smith, just wanted to do these three things to you. And I want to sit back and know that those three things led to better outcomes six months, 12 months, five years down the road. And that was fundamentally unattainable five years ago and I think that we're coming up on it.